Chuck. I got a hey. good one. Hey. Okay. Got a good one. I'm 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 all ears. Are you seated? I am. <laughs> no, actually, I'm just this short. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do an explainer on the Mobius strip. Oh, sweet. So from the Matrix. <laughs> That's Morpheus. Oh, that's Morpheus? Okay, <laughs> never mind. Not the Morpheus strip. Not the Morpheus strip? <laughs> Mobius strip. It's, Mobius. A, it's a mathematical curiosity that's simple. It's simple. So so I, I have a little arts and craftsy thing here. So what I got, so I have just a strip of paper. Right. Okay. See that? That's all it is. Okay. And just so we understand what's going on here, I'm just going to tape it into a rib, into a closed loop, Okay. Close loop. That's all I'm gonna do. Okay. Okay. Got that? Got it. Okay. Nothing. Nothing unweird. It's just about a, it. a loop of paper. Just a loop of paper, and it has two sides. There's an inside and an outside. See that? Gotcha. And an outside. All right. No problem. If I were to cut this in half, let's go ahead and do that. So I've got scissors. Mm -hmm. It's gonna sit here and cut it in half. Okay. Okay, what should I get after I cut this in half? Two loops of paper. Yeah. Let's see. Just kind of, this is not magic or anything. Okay. Ta da! <laughs> that, that's so funny. <clears throat> Obvious magic by Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> Obvious <clears throat> magic. Right. Watch me put a watch me pull a rabbit out of my hat. Come here, rabbit. Stuff it in the hat and boom. <laughs> okay. So we got that. Okay. So now, let me get the next one. Right. So instead of attaching it that way, I'm going to give it a full twist. Okay. okay. So not halfway, but again. Okay. So there we go. That's a full twist. And so I'm going to put a little piece of tape on each side. And now we can ask. Okay, that looks like a like a figure eight. It looks like a figure eight. That's yes. kind of cool. Right. All right. Okay. And let me see. Uh, this also has two different sides. So if I were to sort of draw a line on it, and let's see what we have here. Let's just start here, and. And I come back to where I started. Okay? okay. So I came back to where I started, so that's one side of the paper. One side and, of the paper. And the, the other side had the, I didn't hit the other side. Right. right. Okay. So this also has two sides, like the first one. Okay? And if I cut it in half, let's see what happens here. And I'm cutting it in half. Same, same way going down the center. Same way going down the center line. <clears throat> this one I've drawn. And almost done. And there. So now I have two, except they are entangled. Uh, they're entangled. Yeah. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, that's nice. That something different happened there, yeah. right? I just make two different things. You made so, two, yeah. I have two hoops that are now entangled, so it's not magic, it's just mathematical right. topology. Ah, okay. There you go. Paper okay. handcuffs. Okay. Neither of those are Mobius strips. Okay? Gotcha. I'm going to take my third and final strip, my third and final strip, and I'm going to give it a half turn. Just a half turn. A half turn. That's in between the other two. Okay, okay. so here we go. And don't try this at home. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's Today in the news, Neil deGrasse Tyson dies in a tragic Mobius strip <laughs> experiment. <laughs> As the paper exploded, halfway warning. around the half term. <laughs> okay. warning. 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 So, this Mobius strip has only one side. All right, so you say, of course it has two sides. There's this side, and then the on the other side. side. and the outside. No, okay. it has only one side. So you say, how could a thing have only one side? Of course there are two sides, what's going on? Well, one way to show it is, let's draw a line again. Okay. And if I never cross over the edge, 
that counts as staying on the same side, wouldn't it, Chuck? Of course, yes. All right, of course it does, okay? So let's go ahead, and once again, I'm gonna see if I can do this in a more... Okay, I'm back to where yeah, I started. Back to where you started. Okay, right there. All right, okay. the anticipation is killing me. Okay. I don't know what is going to happen. Okay, back to where I started. And notice, both sides have lines on them. Oh, snap! Okay, both sides, which means it only had one side. Right. Oh my God. There's only one side to this. I never went around the edge, and I went and I covered all surfaces of this without ever crossing the edge of this piece of paper. So it is a one-sided structure. Okay. Gosh. So now. So you're, oh wow. Because you're on the inside and the outside at the same time, but you only stayed on one side. Correct. Oh my God. That's okay. so cool. So it's a one-sided object. Now what's harder for me to demonstrate, but I'll just have to tell you, is that if we lived in this world and you had a, a, a mitten, okay? If you had a mitten, mm -hmm. well a mitten is gonna be a right-handed mitten or a left a glove, a right-handed right, or a left-handed, okay? All right. And let's say you, you let's say you had two gloves and you lost one. Mm -hmm. So now you have only or <laughs> you have two sets of gloves and you've lost <laughs> the left pair of each of those two gloves. You have two right-handed gloves. Uh, you know that what you sounds can do? About, that sounds about my life, yeah. Okay, you can take one of those right-handed gloves, move it through this, and on the other side, it becomes a left-handed glove. Oh, wow. So you can change the orientation of the glove by the time it returns to where it was before. It'll be on the other side of the sheet of paper, but you would have turned it from a left-handed glove to the right-handed glove, and it's still part of the universe that is the sheet of paper. Right. So this, is, it, this can change your handedness. It has one side, and if I cut it in half, okay, this is one of the only objects for which this is true. If I take it, and I'm just gonna cut it right down the middle, just like I did the other two. So well, let's do this, and here I go. And I'm cutting, and they're cutting. Bam! I just cut it in two, and it's a single. Oh shot. my <laughs> goodness! Okay. Wow! Bam! Mobius strip that, in your face. That is an amazing. Oh man, I know what I'm doing at my next cocktail party. <laughs> <laughs> so Mobius strips are. Fascinating. Now, I gave you instructions before this call to, to, to make your own Mobius strip out of paper. You, got, you have that one? And I did. I did. You did. I Very made, nice. I made, I made this strip. So it's beautiful to look at, or you can like mess with it. And by the way, it's easier to draw the line if you slide it under when you have a, a tabletop. You just slide it under. Right. And then that'll work much more effectively than me doing it in midair here. Right. So Chuck, I hear you're going to be giving Let's away Mobius strips for... for, for Holiday gifts? <laughs> so anyway, so you told me to make my own Mobius strip. And you know, my new favorite thing in the world is the Glowforge, which is a 3D laser printer that will cut things out of, I don't know what. I mean, if you want to engrave, if you want to cut, but I made a Mobius strip. That's very geeky of you to do I, that. I, well, guess what? <laughs> I, and listen to this, listen to this. So all these little cuts here, that my friend- So, so it made it flexible. Out of wood, it it turned the wood into this continuous hinge. You say right that's here. that is a piece of wood that you this bent a, into a mobile chair. This is a piece of wood that I painted once I was done because you know I'm I'm crafty like that, mm -hmm. right? And then so check this out though. So the same way that that we just did it with the paper, right? Look at this. Okay, okay. So you painted it. So I painted it two different colors so you could see both sides. Okay. But painted, what's could, that black? Of, of course. <laughs> the depths of space are returned right. to the blackness. Right. All right. So so what you did, so you gave it a half twist. I gave it a half twist. Okay, but here's your problem, Chuck. What? You painted it before you turned it into a Mobius strip. 
Correct. Because you think what you just created has two sides. I but did. But it doesn't. And it doesn't. But because the red side blends straight into the black side and vice versa. Well, you can see it. If, if you look at it, it's like, look, this is the black side and the red side at the same time at coming same time. together. We are the world. It's amazing. <laughs> we are the children. We are. Not only have I created a Mobius strip, <laughs> I have actually solved race relations <laughs> in the world. Two colors coming together as one. As one. <laughs> Brought to you by Glowforge. <laughs> Glowforge solving the problems of race relations in the world. It's the same side. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Oh, that's, that's beautiful. That, that's beautiful. They okay, come so together we, and it's the same side. You wouldn't want to cut that the way I cut this, but that, that that's a good showpiece on the counter. Yeah, and but if I mean if I were to cut it, it would do the same thing you did. It would just become one long twisted. It'll become one long twisted piece. Right, but exactly. I'm not doing that. I'm by the, oh my god, wait a minute. I wonder if I could cut that inside of my glow for okay now i got a new project <laughs> okay now you worry me now you're gonna this is how superhero nemesis is get <laughs> formed <laughs> i have an idea exactly <laughs> however i have to tell you this is my new favorite thing in the world i i'm glow forging everything now oh. <laughs> <laughs> because you can and i you know i've always been kind of crafty but never like always little projects but i'm telling you right now I am making everything from glass etched pictures for people to wallets for the people that I don't like. I just take a wallet and engrave it, just like here you go. And <laughs> to Mobius okay. strips. Now, now everyone month. will know if they got a wallet from you, you don't like their ass. And right? guess what? I'm glad they will. So, because um, you should be nicer to me and you would get nicer Glowforge products. <laughs> If you were nicer to me, you would get nicer Glowforge products from me, okay? But okay. instead, you're going to get a wallet with, okay. look, with your name on it. You're lucky you don't get a wallet that I engraved with the letters cheap. So, okay. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm just, I'm in love with this thing. I can't wait to see what else. I'm Glowforging everything. Okay, but, so now, just so you know, just to take this, one, take this up a notch. Yes. If a Mobius strip is a two-dimensional sheet of paper, right? Right. That you twisted this way. Yes. You can wonder, if you're a mathematician, what would a Mobius strip be like in higher dimensions? You can up it a notch, and now you can have a Mobius strip in three dimensions. And that has a name. It's called a Klein bottle. Yes. Oh, my God. What? What? The, okay, so before we did this, uh -huh. the only thing I knew about a Mobius strip, because I didn't, I'm going to be very honest, I, I, I'm I, embarrassed, but I really didn't know about Mobius strips. You didn't know all, you the, all, the, all the cool stuff about it. I didn't, okay. know, I, mm -hmm. I didn't know any of this stuff until you told me to make one, and then I mm -hmm. made it on the Glowforge and all that, right? The only thing I did know was from this short story that I read way back, long time ago, about a Klein bottle. And that's the only thing that I know about Mobius. Strip. You read a story about. It. Okay, very yes. cool. Very that's yeah. a geeky kid right there. So yeah. I think I even know what short story that was. Okay. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. I have a book of math short stories that I read as uh, when I was in middle school. Okay, and one of that them is now that's a, geeky. A, a Klein bottle. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> and another one was a subway system where where the subway actually traveled Travels? along the path of a, a Mobius strip. Absolutely. And and so the stations look different each time you went around, but it was still the same route. But, but so it was a fun, geeky thing I did. I remember when I was yeah. in middle school. But, so a Klein bottle. Yes. While a Mobius strip has only one side, there's no top and a bottom. A Klein bottle has no inside. Inside, because the inside is the outside that the goes back to the outside. The inside is part of the outside. Right. So and it's, its features are, are, are mathematically similar, but just jacked up a dimension in order for that to happen. So now so, you just gave me an idea for my next mathematical thing that I'm gonna create. Well, I don't know if it's possible, but I bet you it is, which is a tesseract. So, cause you drew this cube of a cube so that it's the four dimensional cube. Yeah, yeah, I, so I got one of those. I have one in, in my office. I, I, I'm simply calling it a four dimensional cube rather than the secret of all the power in the Marvel Universe. <laughs> I will not admit to that, <laughs> but I do have one. Uh, next time I'm in my office, I'll make sure we, maybe we can do an explainer from there That'd and be I'll cool. pull it out. Yeah. 
Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to try and print one just in case. Okay. <laughs> if it starts blowing, I'm... call me. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got to call it quits there. Jeff, All right. Good to have you. Definitely. Always this has been Star Talk Explainer. Mobius Strips. I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson. Keep looking up.